coverage now, 2018 record-breaking year for the Rhode Island Foundation. Joining us now to talk about it, Rhode Island Foundation and CEO Neil Steinberg. Good morning, Neil. Thanks Good for coming morning. in. Good morning. Thank you. All Great right. So, a uh, record $52 million in grants. That's up from $9 million from the previous year. That is really amazingly great news. Yeah. So, you know, we're uh, the state's community foundation and we're the largest and most comprehensive funder for the nonprofit community. Right. So, we gave out $52 million last year. Uh, it was all with very generous donors from around the state, and we actually raised $114 million, which was another record year for us. So with very generous donors, the great nonprofits that we fund on the ground, uh, we all helped to make a better Rhode Island. Did you expect that last year? Was it a surprise? We never expected. So, you know, we do this. We've been around for 102 years. Uh, some of it's timing, but it all kind of came together. So as we do our funding and work with the nonprofits and we talk with a wide range of generous Rhode Islanders of all sizes and then provide leadership and advocacy, it all kind of comes together. And we're working on key issues. Our top issues are education and affordable, accessible health care and economic security for all communities. And then we also fund the arts, the environment, uh, housing, and human services. So we, together with the generous donors, with the nonprofits, do a lot for Rhode Island. Talk about some of the people that benefit, though, from your uh, services. Mm. So again, we, we fund very uh, good organizations. So we gave a grant example, very wide-ranging one socket school department for professional development, Rhode Island Free Clinic, the Johnny Cake Center uh, providing food, uh, Martin Luther King Center down in in uh, Newport, uh, Trinity Theater, throughout the state, we're, we're providing grants in all different areas. So one of the focuses is better education <clears throat> and better jobs, health care for the, you know, the average Rhode Islander. Right. Do you feel like you're making progress in those areas? Yeah, we're starting to. So we're leading some efforts to do long-term planning for both K-12 through education and health care. We need to look down the road. We need a plan. We need to know where we're going. We're working with all of the, the leaders in Rhode Island to do that. And, you know, it's pretty simple. If Rhode Island is thriving, then everybody here is thriving. Um, final question for you. So the, the bar's been raised kind of <laughs> high now, right, <laughs> after 2018. So yeah. it's kind of a it's good, but then now it's like, all right, so what, what can you do to, to top that this yeah. year? So I don't want to say the pressure's on, but I'm sure right. you sort of feel like you got to outperform that this year. Well, you know, our endowment's almost a billion dollars now. So some of it is the stock market, so we can watch that. Some of it is timing, but yeah, you know, I'll take it. You know, having a successful <laughs> year, <clears throat> setting a new bar, that's great for Rhode Island. All right, Neil, thanks so much for Thank coming you. in. Really appreciate it. Neil Steinberg, and uh, for more information on this uh, Foundation, you can see more of this interview as well on our website, WPRI.com.